Yeah, Ty, it's not a new one, but it actually hasn't been on the books too long. They tell me it was created back in 2020, but CIF tells me both the schools and the players were well aware of the consequences of their actions. This is something nobody really likes to deal with, um, but uh, the rules are there for a reason. Will DeBoard, assistant commissioner with the California Interscholastic Federation SAC Joaquin section, says their bylaws clearly state the punishment for a player leaving the sidelines. Any kids who are involved in a fight or any kids who are leave the sideline, they leave the bench, if it's basketball or anything like that, they are subject to an automatic minimum three-game suspension. 14 Chavez players receiving that minimum three-game suspension, 18 Toke players are suspended in total, 17 for three games, and one player suspended for four games. The penalty definitely steps it up when uh, there's the potential for, you know, for fighting or assault or something like that. Those penalties are not just limited to football. It's for all sports. If you fight in basketball, you're out for one game. You're out for the remainder of that game and you're out for the next three to six games. Uh, same in soccer, same in baseball, same in softball. Stockton Unified sent us this statement saying in part, we agree and support the California Interscholastic Federation as we affirm policies of honor. Lodi schools also responding with a statement saying they agree with CIF's rules and quote, all students involved in Friday night's events have received appropriate consequences. These are also high school kids. I mean, emotions run high and something happens and you know, and, and things can, things unfortunately can escalate. And, but uh, I think after you have a situation like this happening once, hopefully, uh, hopefully this doesn't happen ever again. And DeBoard tells me this hasn't been a problem before. In fact, he says last season for the entire season, they had 64 ejections. This one incident already putting them at the halfway mark just two weeks into the season. Live in Lodi, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News.